Hey y'all, out here at uh, Summit City Chevrolet in Fort Wayne, Indiana, and not only do I have the 2014, the new ZL1 Camaro, I've got two of them. A coupe, a convertible, a white, black, can't do any better than that for you guys. I mean, I'm bringing you the car in just about every form that they make it. So anyways, let me run Jeff down and we'll take a look at these things. Jeff, how are you doing, brother? Great, Scotty. How are you? Outstanding, man. You got a new Corvette for me. Right. And you got two 2014 Z01s. Yes, we do. Man, tell me a little bit about the changes they've made for 14. Is there anything major? Yeah, the major change is the uh, rear fascia. Um, they got the new tail lights incorporated into these cars now. Um, just, I think it makes a much, much cleaner look. Kind of brings back that 69-ish look a little, a little bit more. Bit. Yeah, yeah, it's a little lean towards, a little more lean towards the retro look. I like it. But yeah, we've got the white convertible here, um, and we've got the triple black coupe. Yeah, I love that. That's the one I love. And this one's loaded out. It's got the carbon fiber and everything on it. Yep, it's got the carbon fiber. It's got the um, suede inserts in the interior. Um, Let's look and see what else this car's got. It's got the six-speed automatic. It's got the power sunroof. So that's about the only options uh, you can now that's a, Now that's a six-speed with paddle shift, right? Six-speed paddle shift, correct. Is that new for this year, or could you get that last year, too? No, you could get that last year, too. Cool. Man, I love how they do that suede inserts in that. Yeah. Although it's not suede. Isn't there a fancy name for it? Uh, microfiber suede. Really? Yeah. All yeah. right. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, there you go. That's what that's what the top salesman got, said. Got the red stitching I in like here. I like that. I like that. And it's got a sunroof in it. Yes. Yeah. Got the sunroof. This one's loaded out. And now for um, 13 and 14, they've got the new MyLink radio system with the 7-inch um, color touchscreen. Oh, cool. What does it connect with your phone or something? You said MyLink. What's MyLink mean? MyLink is an infotainment system that General Motors has. And, yes, it does connect Bluetooth wirelessly with your phone and your uh, music devices. Um, but it's all hands. Uh, everything's hands-free or touchscreen. Right. Um, you can do it all through voice commands. Oh, no kidding. Yes. Can you do it off the steering wheel too, or is it? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Man. <laughs> is that spoiler the same that it's been, or do they make a little change to that? Uh, that's a little change for 14 also. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. I like so it. It kind of swoops up and back a little bit more. Yeah. More of a whale tail look to it. Yeah. But it fits the car. No, I like this, man. Uh, of course, it's a Z01. Well, what's a car like that sticker for? Uh, the black one stickers for around 61 2. Right. Uh, the white one's getting closer to the 67 mark, uh, being a convertible. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's. Uh, it's so a now, lot of... you, now you got to make the decision between Corvette and Camaro, though, right? Correct. And actually, that one, I mean, you can. Yeah. That's cool. 200 mile an hour speedometer, 6,500 red line. Man. Just cool cars. And I've shot one before, folks, but it's a 14 I wanted to shoot you. Hey, did that window always do that? Yes. That's the sweetest thing they ever come up with on these things. Yeah, when you open the door handle, the window will just pop down a little bit. That right. way, when you shut it, it slides back up in that vent and creates a good seal. Next to a perfect seal. And the other thing is, is that you're not dealing with that window getting floppy because it keeps pressing against the car every Correct. time you shut and it. Pressure. Yeah. yeah, yeah, right. And pressure when, right. You, shut the when car. you shut the car. Right. Correct. You don't have to wind up and slam the door. Correct. And they actually did change the grill a little bit, um, the front end a little bit this year, but nothing significant. They changed the regular Camaro grill significantly, but right. the ZL1, they didn't change it a whole lot. Yeah, and, and uh, tell me a little bit about that that change for the other Camaro. Because uh, the ZL1 has got air intakes that the regular Camaro doesn't have, right? Right, and it's got supercharger and um, for cooling and things of that nature, so that's one of the reasons why they didn't change the front end of the ZL1 like they did for just the regular Camaro. I got you. Cool. Well, let's check out this convertible over here and see what's going on with it. Same car, same package. Right. Um, this one stickers for 66805. And that's pretty much loaded out. Yes. Yeah. And what do these things have on them, 20s? Uh, yes. Yeah. They've got um, 20s. And you can look right here, these are uh, Eagle F1 tires. Right. 285 35s. Remo brakes. Yep. Camaro. All that, I mean, all that stayed pretty much the same. Is this door open? Yes. 
Yeah, all that stayed the same versus last year. And of course, this one's an automatic also. Right. Available in a six speed. You find you sell more automatics or six speeds in these cars? Uh, it's kind of a toss up. Whatever you got. I yeah, well, it's kind of a toss up. Um, just depends on what kind of driver it is and what you're wanting to do with the car. Right, right. Man. Well, start one of them for me. Yeah, absolutely. They'll both sound the same. Does this have that cutout you can open the exhaust in it? No, it's open all the time. Oh, it's open all the time. Man, that's good. Also, it's got a uh, touring and sport mode. Open that hood. Let me see. Let's look up underneath that. These are going to both be the same under the hood, right? Correct. Yeah. And how many choices in that do you have? Just two? In the engine? Touring and Sport. Oh, yes. Yeah. You have Touring and Sport, two choices in the driving modes. And that makes a bunch of changes, too? Uh, not like the new Stingray. Right. That Stingray changes 14 different things. This one just changes a couple different things with the, the ride. Damper and things like that. I don't know. Don't hold me to that, folks. I'm putting words in his mouth. But it doesn't make all the adjustments the Corvette makes. But that's your LSA supercharger. Right. Um, creates a lot of horsepower, 556, I believe. It's a monster Camaro. There's no doubt about it, man. They're cool cars. What about the Z28? You have any of those? Don't have any of that. Any of those cars yet? Uh, they're not released yet. Um, haven't been able to order anything yet. But uh, very little communications back and forth with what that's going to be. But it's definitely coming. All we right. know it's going to be a seven-liter. Right. So no kidding. Yep, gonna be an LS7. Really? Yes. So when it'll you will have optional air conditioning and optional radio packages, and that's about the only options you can get on it, right? Uh, there may be a few more options. You on can't it. load one up. They're not designed to be. I don't think you can. I don't think but you again, can. I haven't seen all that. Yeah, yet. yeah, yeah. I just know that you can order it without air, without a radio. I mean, you can make it a full, full-blown track race car. car yeah, yeah, no. Jeff is always brother. Thanks so much for giving me the time. Thank you, Scotty. Folks, there you go. From uh, Summit City Chevrolet in Fort Wayne, Indiana, two ZL1s. This this dealer is cool. If you live in this area, you got to deal with Summit City, man. These guys, uh, they got the cool stuff. They opened up for Scotty D. Let me come in here and check out their cars. You just can't beat them. So, anyways, 2014 ZL1s, not one, but two. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See you.